April 26th, 2004. This is one of the most important dates in GNOME's history. This isn't when the project was created. It's not when a certain distro adopted it. It's not even when a really big release or feature was added to the project. This is when the infamous GNOME file picker bug report was created. Add an icon view with thumbnails mode like Nautilus. For 18 and a half years, there has not been a way merged into the GTK file picker to see thumbnails. Now keep in mind, any other GUI file picker that anybody cares about has had thumbnails for a very long time. Just in the Linux space, KDE has had them for over a decade. But hopefully coming very soon to a GNOME near you, the meme is finally going to be over because the legendary Georgia Starakis is on the case and he's got this to show off. Thumbnails. It's magic. Imagine a file picker that has thumbnails. But if this bug report was just 18 years old with nothing else special about it, it wouldn't be so infamous. So let's have a look back at history and see how it took us 18 years to get here. Now, the first protagonist of our story is Hakon, and their explanation was pretty straightforward. The file chooser should be able to share the icon view feature used in Nautilus, so they can choose between a list view and an icon view with thumbnails. I believe the Windows file selector already does this. This was well into the release of Windows XP. I know the file explorer did, but I've not seen the file selector in a very long time. Now, how to do this, I have no clue about because I am not a developer. I guess either Nautilus could allow other applications to share this function, which could also be useful to a file roller, or it should be lifted out from Nautilus, making it a GTK widget or something. I always love it when non-developers speak about developer issues as if they're like really easy things to do, but without looking at the code, those sound like reasonable ideas. And besides Hakon leaving their own comment, in 2004, there was one other person commenting. And nobody else commented until 2005 when Hakon left another comment. Wouldn't this be a nice feature for the next stable GTK Plus? I'm asking just to check that this hasn't been forgotten. And well... It sort of had been, because there weren't any comments for a while, but there were a bunch of duplicated bug reports because people started warning this feature. At this point, the bug is three years old, and this is where we start seeing some of the kinda hilarious comments. I support this too, but this bug is too old. This is 15 years ago. I think it doesn't have the interest of the developers. But I hope that someone will fix it, as happened for the file roller drag and drop to Nautilus. And I can't find the exact date the KD added this feature to their own project, but judging by these comments, it was sometime before 2008. And we get to five years, and no news whatsoever. But people start asking, like, hey, is anything gonna happen here? Are there any GNOME developers even looking at this bug tracker? And Guido asks, like, hey, are you a GNOME developer? Can you start making this enhancement? I would really love to see that. And Federico says, I am, but I don't have time to work on this. It's not a simple feature, but I'll gladly mentor anyone who actually wants to implement it, though. But no one at this point stepped up to actually take that role. And the same thing just kept going and going and going. And we get to this fun comment right here. At some point, there has to be a realization that a file chooser is something different from a full-blown file manager. Yes, but the part about viewing the files is exactly equal. By this point, you can see a lot of tension starting to arise. Users really wanted this feature, but a lot of the users aren't developers. GNOME developers had no interest in working on it themselves and were waiting for one of these users to go and submit a patch. And then in 2010, finally, some hope was on the horizon. GTK Plus currently doesn't implement any thumbnailing service. Little research reveals many options which could be ported to GTK+. Finally, something was being discussed, and then a short while later, the first 
patch was being created. And people had a lot of hope for this. But considering it was still a fairly early patch, there was still a lot of work that needed to be done, various technical issues, how quick it's going to run, issues with various GTK widgets, and all of this kept going all the way up to this comment, comment 59 in 2011, the last time that Simo ever left a comment. Simo's patch was made for GTK3, and Guido asked, hey, could you backport this to GTK2+, and Simo says, I wish that the known problems could be solved before any backporting to prevent useless work. I mean the comment number 54. Secondly, there should be some plan for actually generating missing thumbnails in some service. Someone from the GTK team should look at these issues, I don't have enough knowledge. And Federico, the same Federico we saw before, stepped up and offered his knowledge. For a short period of time, started working on these patches, trying to address some of the issues that Simo wasn't able to do. Because he felt like Simo had done a lot of excellent work, and this was a great starting point for an upcoming rework of the file chooser. But from what I've seen, nothing really happened of this. There was a bit of back and forth about things that can be done, but then... The argument started once again. NetHack Pro and Emmanuel Bussy going over whether GNOME should fix this, the user should fix this, who should actually go and fix the problem. Ultimately, nobody is fixing the problem, everybody is just arguing about it. And then we get this fun comment in 2014. Holy mother of god. 10 years and you still haven't fixed it. I'm having a good laugh here. This is exactly why Lunix will never catch up with Windows. Okay, so who wants money in exchange for making a patch? Devs don't care about this, but maybe with money in hand, we can get another point of view. And this may be the first, but this is absolutely not the last bug bounty for this specific problem. I have counted at least five or so bug bounties, and nobody has taken them up. And then April 9th, 2015, the second patch was created. But this wasn't a GTK3 patch, this was a GTK2 Plus patch because of Firefox and GIMP. Most of the GNOME desktop had already long moved on to GTK3, and Firefox was also planning to do so as well. The only thing still on GTK2 at this point that anybody cares about is still GIMP. So it would have at least affected that. And even Emmanuel Bassi said thanks for the patch. Now he was concerned that it was a GTK2 patch, not GTK3. But keep in mind for later that he said thank you. This is very, very important. And do you know what happened then? Ahoka worked on some changes and then vanished from the project. And then following that, Wolfgang Frisch picked up Simo's patch because this seemed like the most sensible thing to do for GTK3. And like the previous people we've seen, he worked on a couple of changes and then vanished from the project. Wolfgang Frisch picked up Simo's patch from 2011. And do you know what happened then? Well, it should seem like a little bit of a pattern. He worked on a couple of changes and then vanished from the project once again. Everybody who seems like they works on the file picker basically vanishes from the project and then again. Dude Man Guy picks up a hoker and Wolfgang's work. And what do you think happens to him? Do you think he you know, completes it, and everything gets merged into the project. Do you think, I don't know, he starts a new patch set, or does he disappear? Well, he disappeared. But over the years, these patch sets did develop their fair share of problems. Did you see comment 102, comment 110, and comment 115? GTK icon view can be slow on startup if the thumbnails are generated, so it can't be used as is without at least fixing that. Even then, it is not what we want to use for new features because it doesn't reflow its contents. That's why GTK Flowbox exists, but it needs work to make it scale to hundreds of tiles. Please, if you really want this, try to spend time on one of these issues. Either make GTK icon view faster or make GTK list box scale. And our favourite person, Federico, is back again. Hey, dude, man, guy. 
Thank you for reviving this old patch set. I just made a compile and sent a pull request your way. Don't worry about GTK icon view slowness for now. GTK tree view isn't stellar either. The important thing is to get this code back alive, which you've already done, and to make the controls to change the view as close to Nautilus as possible. And then for quite a while, Federico kept heavily working on this patch set, all the way up to 2018. And do you know what happened in 2018? Federico, any progress on this? He also vanished from the project. If I was a conspiracy guy, I would say that if you work on this patch set, Gnome is going to make you disappear. But in actuality, what is happening is everybody thinks that implementing this is going to be really easy. But they realize very quickly that's not the case. This section of GTK is disgusting spaghetti code, it is horribly slow, and to get it to the point where Gnome would actually accept it as a patch, it needs a lot of work to be done. But still, people knew that Dude Man Guy's patches were working, so comments like this started happening. Also, you're talking about a few seconds of wait time in the worst case 5,000 plus files on a 5400 RPM drive, versus 15 years is actually 13 years of no motion on this ticket. So I think people will be more forgiving than you think. Now, I kind of lied when I said that Dude Man Guy disappeared. You may know about this package on the AUR, GTK3 Patched File Chooser Icon View. It is a terrible name, but it adds thumbnails into the GTK file picker. And would you look at this, submitter, maintainer, and last packager, Dude Man Guy. So he actually went and packaged his file chooser because for most people, it's gonna work perfectly fine. It's not the quickest implementation. It does suffer with a lot of files, like when we're talking like tens of thousands of files, but it works. And it doesn't just work. There are distros like Deepin that actually ship this package to their users. Now this bug existed for so long, it even outlived the GNOME bugzilla, when in 2018, everything was migrated over to a GitLab. And the Dude Man Guy comments just kept going. Have you guys checked the code posted by Dude Man Guy on GitHub? The user Dude Man Guy has posted a patch to resolve this issue. Yes, I tried patches both for GTK2 and GTK3 by Dude Man Guy. They were posted on the AUR. They work flawlessly. But Emmanuel Bassi said, until we get a merge request that we can review, random patches on GitHub are not something we're going to look at. Sorry. Now, do we remember this comment in 2015? Thanks for the patch. There wasn't a merge request open for this. They submitted a link to the patch on GitHub. And do you remember what Dude Man Guy also did? He submitted a link to the patch on GitHub. And now we're saying random patches on GitHub, not something we're going to look at. So, yeah? Now, I totally get it that someone should have opened up a merge request but no one did, and because the comments just kept coming in, eventually they just said, you know what, we're gonna close the issue. But as we know, closing an issue does not actually fix the problem. So people started making duplicates of this issue because of course they would make duplicates of it. And over the entire history of the Bugzilla and the GitLab, there have been 20 bug reports all about the exact same problem. But because nothing new was being done, Emmanuel Bossi had this to say. So let's try and outline something that people can actually work on. Port the file system model used by GTK file chooser widget from GTK tree model to glist model using the various models available in GTK4. That's the other thing. We've now moved on from GTK3, so the old patches don't matter anyway. Use GTK column view to implement the list views for the various states of the file chooser widget browse, recent, and search. Add a GTK grid view for an icon browse state. Each one of these steps comes with various sub-issues that may require additional API or at least some poking around at the internals of GTK. The GTK developers are happy to offer guidance, join the GTK IRC bridged on matrix as gtkgnome.org. And then, the man, the myth, the legend, Georges Darakis as of a couple of weeks ago has been submitting patches and some of those patches have already been merged. 
port file chooser to GTK column view. And then the grid view patch, the one I showed you at the start of this video, this is still currently open but it is getting feedback and there are still things that need to be fixed. So hopefully at some point in the future, this does get merged. Now, what we are seeing here, the way it looks, this is very, very alpha. The reason why it's alpha is nobody in the GNOME team actually designed a layout over the past 18 years. So the design still needs to be done and there's a few things like that that still need to be worked out. But this guy, among various other projects, is a really prominent GNOME developer, so hopefully this time it's actually going to get done and actually going to get merged. This whole 18-year-old bug report is a big example that people use for why GNOME developers are hard to work with and why GNOME developers just don't listen to their users. And I can totally understand that if you've had a problem present in your application that no other desktops have for 18 years. I get it. I also get it from the GNOME side that they were prioritizing other things and were waiting for someone else to go and submit a patch. But either way, hopefully this comes to an end soon and the meme is finally going to die. As always, don't harass anyone involved, whether it's someone who made a patch and then abandoned it, whether it's a GNOME developer, just treat this as sort of a history lesson and enjoy it for what it is. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you use GNOME? Do you make use of that GNOME file chooser patch? Or have you just lived with it and not really cared? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to my pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robertson Plays. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.